Welcome to the heart of KTM. We're in the KTM Motor Hall building in Austria. In 2017, KTM unveiled their first parallel twin engine with the KTM 790 Duke, aka the Scalpel. And this bike more than ruffled some feathers in the midweight segment. Fast forward to March of this year and KTM once again upped the ante by pulling off the covers of the KTM 890 Duke R, dubbed the Super Scalpel. A non-compromised sports naked bike for fast riding on street and track. A mere 10 months later and here we are unveiling another midway titan, the new KTM 890 Duke. Here to help me showcase the bike is Federico Macario from our product management department. Federico, can you give us a bit of an insight on this new bike? The new KTM A90 Duke is the latest evolution of the successful 790 Duke we launched back in 2017. The new bike benefits from larger displacement, increased engine performance, updated suspension, upgraded electronics, improved braking power, new tires and completely new graphics, while remaining super sharp, very precise, light and incredibly agile. Who is the intended customer for the new KTM 890D? Our Scalpel is a super compact and well-balanced performance bike made for riders' favorite roads. It has been developed with one task in mind, dominating the street. The new KTM A90 Duke represents the best equilibrium between high performance and real-world riding demand, intentionally made for true street riders who know that power-to-weight ratio, together with agility, are much more important than straight-line brute power. Riders who ride on the street and want to stand out in the mid-class naked segment without sacrificing user-friendliness and fuel pump. Let's go give you some more details of this bike whilst riding it in its perfect environment. Ergonomically, this bike has a lot of space for the rider's legs. The riding position also helps reduce the knee angle. The overall riding position of this bike is also very neutral, and this helps reduce rider fatigue even after hours spent in the seat. This bike is also very comfortable for bigger riders, like myself. This bike is super light, tipping the scales at a mere 169 kilograms and setting the benchmark for this segment. The LC8C engine gained 90 cc of displacement and 10 horsepower more than its predecessor, and it's noticeable immediately. I feel like the additional power and torque reduce the amount of up and down shifting, and I can also keep a single gear for a longer period of time. This bike reaches a peak of 115 horsepower at 9000 RPM, and meanwhile, also the red line has been moved up by 500 RPM. But to me, the torque value is even more interesting because basically from 5,500 to 10,000 RPM the new LCHC engine delivers constantly more than 80 Nm and from 6,300 to 8,800 RPM the constant amount of torque is always higher than 90 Nm. Additionally, 20% more rotational mass on the crankshaft really transforms the handling of this bike. Something I really like is that you can customize your riding experience depending on the street condition and personal preference. The rider can choose between three standard riding modes, namely sport, street and rain. Gear shifting has significantly been improved thanks to a shorter shift lever travel and lighter spring. The quick shifter plus settings have also been updated ensuring for an ultra fast gear change. Another key update for this model is the tires choice. We wore out more than 50 sets of tires and finally we have gone for the new Continental Conti Road. The new tires offer very fast warm-up pace, increased durability, better corner stability, natural handling and very good grip, especially in wet and cold conditions. This is a huge advantage because we know that there is a good percentage of our customers who is riding his new every day, whatever conditions, exactly like we do. This bike offers two options in terms of ABS. Firstly, cornering ABS. Cornering ABS means 
that you have full ABS functionality on the front and the rear wheel. And it takes lean angle into account, meaning you can hold full brake pressure while leaned over. The feature I use to slide the bike is known as Supermoto ABS. In Supermoto ABS, three things happen. ABS functionality on the rear wheel is deactivated. Rear wheel lift up detection is disabled and cornering functionality is also disabled. This allows me to lock up the rear wheel as I slide it into the corner. When I come off the rear brake, the PAC slipper clutch comes into play and reduces the amount of engine brake on the rear wheel. A new six direction lean angle sensor is now fit into the KTM A90 Duke. This technology has fitted down directly from the big brother, the KTM 1290 Super Duke R, and represents the best you can have today on a motorcycle. Thanks to the new sensor, we've been able to improve the cornering MTC functionality, which now is taking into account also the yaw rate. What does it mean? It means that the cornering MTC is not only processing side to side and front to back movement, but also the rotations of the bike on the vertical axis. We have also improved the front brake caliper and fitted them with new brake pads to match the additional power and to get closer to the KTM 890 Duke R. This improvement combined with the radial master cylinder gives the rider more braking control and increased stopping power. So Federico, we've spent an amazing day on these bikes, but there's still some features that we need to talk about. Let's have an in-depth look at these features and just discuss it. Well, let's start from the engine, the core of the bike. Not only have we improved the performance on paper, but the new logic of the engine mapping, which automatically adjusts per cylinder, together with the improved cornering motorcycle traction control settings, really make the bike super smooth to ride with a very precise throttle response. Have we updated the suspension to compensate for the additional power and torque? Yes, definitely. We work very hard, especially on the front fork. WPE Apex 43mm is an open cartridge upside down unit. It uses split function technology, which basically means that compression and rebound take place in separate forklets. The front fork adopts new linear springs, which are not only lighter, but also guarantee more intuitive feeling and better support while braking. Moreover, an additional base valve has improved the high-speed damping. Then, the rear shock has been updated too in order to keep up with the front and with the additional power, and now, thanks to the new settings, is offering both more comfort and more progression. You mentioned it, the all-new KTM 890 Duke benefits from an upgraded electronic package. For the Abbott Street Rider, we also offer the additional customization as an option, in the form of track mode, quick shifter plus, and motor slip regulation. Basically what track mode means is the rider has the option to set his rear wheel slip from 1 to 9. 1 being the least amount of intervention and 9 being equivalent to rain mode. Track mode offers the rider the possibility to switch off his anti-wheelie without affecting the cornering MTC as well as launch control. Lastly, the new KTM A90 Duke is also equipped with a 4.3 inch TFT dash which can be paired with your phone to control incoming calls or to play your favorite music thanks to the KTM MyRide app. We come to the end of this amazing day, and just to recap what the all-new KTM 890 Duke is all about, this bike benefits from a larger displacement, increased engine performance, updated suspension, updated electronic package, improved braking, and new tires. We suggest to experience the all-new KTM 890 Duke, you visit your nearest authorized KTM dealer, or visit www.ktm.com to book a test ride. <laughs>